Hey, Purposeful People, Randy here from the Work With Purpose podcast. This month, we've got a little bit more of a different podcast episode from you. I wanted to put together a quick episode for you. Uh, this time we're talking about, uh, I'm going to give you a quick clip from a weekend career training event, a live stream event that uh, we did earlier in 2024 about working remotely. I um, wanted to give you a quicker episode this month just because of, you know, personally, professionally, got some uh, a, lot, a lot of different things happening right now. And so I wasn't able to put uh, together the full episode that I had planned for you um, in this month. So you can look for our next uh, more full episode coming in uh, August of this month. But right now, let's get into uh, this episode talking about uh, a couple clips or a clip or two from our uh, weekend career training about remote work. So hope you enjoy it and uh, check it out. Hey, everybody, Randy here from the Work With Purpose podcast. Um, I wanted to bring you a quick episode um, this month. Uh, coming to you from our uh, Work With Purpose studios and editing and things like that, Edit Bay. Uh, just wanted to give you a quick episode uh, this month for July when you're uh, hearing this, just because of, uh, you know, personally, professionally, have a lot of uh, things happening right now. And so I'm not uh, able to give you the more fuller uh, episode that I intended to for July. So you can look for that um, later on. But for this quick episode, I wanted to put in front of you a short clip from a recent career training event. Um, that I was able to do earlier in 2024 called Real Help for Remote Work about finding uh, remote work in a purposeful way. Um, and I think you'll enjoy that clip. Um, so right now, without uh, further ado, let's go ahead and get into uh, this clip from a weekend career training event uh, that I did, Real Help for Remote Work. So why remote, why remote work? I shared with that uh, a little bit earlier, but um, in my work with adults um, f across the range of, of lifespan, um, I've worked with individuals since about 2017, so about seven years or so, in helping them make uh, intentional and purposeful career decisions. So my experience includes work in more college or higher ed settings. I've worked with um, high school students um, who, um, who had a documented disability, helping them connect to resources to help them uh, make career choices after high school. And um, I've also worked in um, other, you know, purposeful settings with career development. I've had experience, you know, uh, opening and running my own career coaching business. And then, of course, there's uh, my career podcast as well. But beyond, um, you know, my, my experience of working with um, individuals in career development, um, remote work since the COVID-19 pandemic here in the, here around the world. Um, you know, there, I've seen tons of news stories. There's been, I'm sure you have seen, there has been lots of research of folks, you know, wanting to leave their current position and make the move to a, uh, more flexible position, whether it's working hybrid or working fully remotely in some capacity, there's a lot more, um, interest for that and a lot more desire for that. So um, my, my attempt today in wanting to talk about remote work was to really um, get started with the, the conversation of how can someone work to find a remote job or make the uh, move into a uh, partially remote or fully remote job. And, uh, and again, really start, uh, start, start that conversation. Because I realize in the time that we have today, you know, with you on the other side of uh, my screen on the internet, um, we could spend so much time talking about what does it mean to uh, for someone to be successful in a remote job. Um, and there's so many layers and subtlety and nuance with someone wanting to work remotely. Um, I realize that I can't cover every single aspect or every single thing. Hey everybody, Randy here. We will get back to our uh, podcast episode in just a moment. But first, I wanted to uh, tell you about something new that we're trying this year here at the Work With Purpose podcast. We're doing a few uh, live stream events. Yep, you heard me right. We're calling our live stream events WCT, which means Weekend Career Training. Now, these weekend career training events, they're designed to be a one-hour live stream event on specific Saturdays in 2024. During this time, I'll share a bit more teaching and training about a specific career topic, and then it can also give you a chance to have your career questions answered as well. Um, so I want to invite you, bring a cup of coffee, join us on our next weekend career training uh, live stream, and uh, continue taking a purposeful step in your career. Um, our next weekend career training event, it's coming up on Saturday, August 10th, 2024 at 10 a.m. Eastern time. You can find more details about how to join, how to reserve your spot at our website, wwpcast.com slash live. Again, that's wwpcast.com 
slash L-I-V-E. When you go there, it'll give you, uh, again, more information about how you can fill out our live question form so you can submit a question. Um, you can also reserve your spot to uh, join our weekend career training live stream. I'm excited to have you join me there. Again, our next weekend career live stream event is coming up on August 10th, 2024. You can get more details about it at wwpcast.com slash live about how can someone work remotely. So uh, I want to start that conversation with you today and to get started in uh, talking about how can someone find, keep, be successful in a remote position or may, or start to make the career move into a you know more remote kind of position. I, I believe where it starts is um, you as a job seeker, you as an individual having focus and really getting getting started on a on a really um, focused place as you go about your job search and as you go about um, things like that. So what I mean by focus is um, when it comes to finding a remote position, I, I would say to you that if you don't start out with a really clear focus in mind, it's almost like this picture here of someone jumping into a lake without a life jacket and hoping that they can swim okay and hoping that they can maintain against the current. So without focus, uh, and this this would apply for remote work, but also you know any kind of career decision you could think of. Focus is going to help you because without having a clear focus to what you what kind of uh, where you're trying to target, what you're trying to look for, it's like jumping into the deep end of a lake hoping that you can swim. And through our time today, I wanted to talk about uh, remote work and giving you tools for that. My hope is is to give you more focus. And what that, uh, why that picture of the canoe is there is wanted to give you focus in starting this conversation about what can it take for someone to find and keep and be successful in a remote type of position is with uh, some of the resources we'll talk through today. My hope is, is I want to give you uh, more tools that you can use. So I want to give you a canoe. I want to give you a life jacket. I want to give you an oar so that instead of jumping in the deep end of a lake and hoping that you can swim trying to give you tools and resources that you can start to paddle out and cross the cross the lake in a safe way so that you don't drown and you're not ending up overwhelmed. All right. So uh, I believe that to find and be successful in, um, in in finding a remote or a you know partially remote job and moving into fully remote, um, that's going to take some focus. And uh, we've got some tools that I think will be helpful for you today to help you start to start to do that. So where to start with uh, someone finding a remote type of position? Again, I really think focus is the place to start. And one thing that can help you focus um, with that is having a uh, having a clear career goal. And I believe there's two elements to that. Um, now, when I say clear career goal, um, I wanted to start here just because um, in, in my work with uh, with adult learners across the the gamut of of what type of career experiences they're looking for, um, I, sometimes my com my career related conversations have gone with you know someone has been in a certain industry for a long time and they're trying to change to something else, or someone you know has want, really wanted to do a specific job and they're really set on that. Um, but a lot of times from those conversations, um, I'll find that someone might only want to do a specific job because their parents have said that, or they they read about it on television television or there's just a really big draw for that type of job because of the income part or the chance to make a lot of money. Um, and the reason I wanted to start with a clear career goal is because I think um, as we talk through these different elements of what what I would say a clear career goal means, um, I think it can really get you started in a good place as you're job searching, but especially as you're job searching and trying to find a more remote kind of position. All right, so the elements of, of a clear career goal. I would say, number one, the first part of a clear career goal is really knowing yourself well. Now, when I say knowing yourself, uh, it really comes down to four different elements, and we'll talk through these in just a little bit. You can see the little graphic there. Knowing yourself really means you examining, you thinking about, you really clarifying for yourself, learning about, re, you know, reviewing for yourself about what your work experience, what your uh, background has been, what it, what it has been in the past, where you've worked, what type of work you've done. Um, uh, the other part is your work values. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Also, I think knowing yourself, it also shows up in your interests in a job. There's a little uh, segment there, the, the RIASEC, the R-I-A-S-E-C. Um, we'll talk about that in just a second. That's tied to a uh, a theory about career development. So your experience and your background, understanding your work values, 
understanding your interests in a specific job. And then the last part I would say about knowing yourself is really uh, you knowing about what your abilities, your strengths, and your talents are. So those are those four elements of knowing yourself. Let's, let's unpack those a little bit. Okay, well... I hope you enjoyed that clip from uh, the weekend career training event from earlier in 2024 called Real Help for Remote Work. For us here at the Work With Purpose podcast, that was one of our uh, most popular uh, you know, live, live stream event that we did and also the first live stream event uh, that we did. So grateful if you were a part of that watching us live. Um, if you liked that clip and you wanted to get the entire training I wanted to put in front of you, if you are watching the uh, video version of our show here on YouTube, you can look in the uh, video description below this video. <clears throat> and that will give you the link to uh, how you can get the uh, the Real Help for Remote Work um, training for yourself. You can purchase it. Um, also, if you're watching us on your or listening to us on our on one of your favorite podcast apps, you can look in the show notes as well. That's got information on how to um, on how you can get that as well. So uh, the Real Help for Remote Work career training, um, many different uh, price points for that. Uh, I tried to I tried to share that career training event in a couple different ways so that if, uh, if you're interested, uh, if you would say, hey, I wanted to make the jump to move uh, to move completely working from home um, and doing that, or if you wanted to take you know small baby steps to maybe work in a hybrid setting, but then move on to more of a remote, uh, a, a remote role, I think, I think you'll find this weekend career training very helpful, gives you helpful uh, steps on how you could find remote work in a purposeful way. Again, look in the show notes below this video if you're watching us on YouTube and look in uh, the uh, show notes as well on your favorite podcast app. You can get uh, the link on how to get to that. Uh, the Weekend Career Training, it's available in an audio format, um, a video format, and then also an audio video bundle where you get both of them together. Um, each of the uh, formats that you choose, it comes with um, an audio transcript. Uh, it comes with a text-based transcript, I mean, of the training, so you can do that a little bit more searchable that way. Also, uh, give you a really great PDF workbook to help you, so again, you know, look in the video description below this video, or you can check uh, the show notes to get your copy of the Real Help for Remote Work, uh, a weekend career training event from us here at the Work With Purpose podcast. All right, well, that brings us to the end of this month's quick episode. I um, hope you enjoyed uh, this insightful look into one of our weekend career training events. Until the next month's episode, um, you can look for that coming up in August of 2024. Um, just keep watching your podcast feed. Keep um, you know, checking uh, back on our YouTube channel at WWPcast on YouTube. Um, if you find this episode helpful, I encourage you to consider sharing it with someone you know um, who may be job searching. A lot of folks are looking for resources to kind of find hope and encouragement as they are changing careers or making career choices. So be that be that purposeful person and um, and, and share that episode with them. Also, I want to invite you, um, if you're new to our show, I want to invite you to follow us on your favorite podcast app. If you're connecting with us on our YouTube channel, uh, consider leaving a like, a subscribe button, click the notification bell as well. When you do all of those things, it puts our career uh, content in front of new people so that they can engage with us as well. So um, again, we appreciate uh, appreciate you checking out this episode this month. As I wrap up here, um, I do want to uh, say that uh, I'm Randy Mahoney. You've been listening to the Work With Purpose podcast. And as we finish today, I want to remind you of two quick things. Number one, you've been made with purpose, so work with purpose. And then number two is this. The best work that you can ever do is to serve someone else using your top skills and your top gifts, and to do all that for the glory of Jesus Christ. I'll see you next time. Hey everybody, Randy here. We will get back to our uh, podcast episode in just a moment. But first, I wanted to uh, tell you about something new that we're trying this year here at the Work With Purpose podcast. We're doing a few uh, live stream events. Yep, you heard me right. We're calling our live stream events WCT, which means Weekend Career Training. Now, these weekend career training events, they're designed to be a one-hour live stream event on specific Saturdays in 2024. During this time, I'll share a bit more teaching and training about a specific career topic, and then it can also give you a chance to have your career questions answered as well. Um, so I want to invite you, bring a cup of coffee, join us on our next weekend career training uh, live stream, and uh, continue taking a purposeful step in your career. Um, our next weekend career training event, it's coming up on Saturday, August 10th, 2024 at 10 a.m. Eastern time. And you can find more details about how to join, how to reserve your spot at our website, wwpcast.com slash live. Again, that's wwpcast.com 
Facebook.com slash L I V E. When you go there, it'll give you uh, again, more information about how you can fill out our live question form. So you can submit a question. Um, you can also reserve your spot to uh, join our weekend career training live stream. I'm excited to have you join me there again. Our next weekend career live stream event is coming up on August 10th, 2024. You can get more details about it at wwpcast.com slash live.